Welcome everybody to my kitchen. My name's Russell Hill, 4-H Youth Development Advisor in California for Merced, Madera, and Mariposa counties. Today we're going to cook a Spanish rice and I'm going to show you all the ingredients for that as well as talk a little bit about the varieties of rice that you might run into in your own pantry or at the store. Now by no means what I'm showing you are not all of the varieties that you'll run into, but a few that you might uh, think about using potentially. So let's take a look at those varieties of rice. So today we're going to be using a Cal Rose medium grain rice. This is the size rice right here. Another rice that you might want to use for this recipe is uh, the long grain rice here. So you can see a little bit difference in the length of the rice. This is a little bit more round and shorter than the long grain rice here. These both work very well for Spanish rice. In addition to these uh, medium grain and long grain rice, in the very center here, we have what would be found in a Japanese home, um, or many people's homes, not just Japanese, uh, but this is a sticky rice. It's used for making um, sushi rice. So it's a, when they wash this off, and the same for these other two, when they wash off the outside and cook these and steam them, they become really sticky and hold well together, so then you can have those nice sushi rolls that people have, or the uh, sashimi on top of the sushi itself. We also have this right here, which is considered a glutinous rice, although there is no gluten in it, there's considered glutinous rice or a sweet rice. This would be found in uh, many Southeast, Southeast Asian cuisines, same with this one here. Um, these both are also a different type of sticky rice. They've got a bit more of a bite to them. There's a little more chew to them than the other ones. So these are the different varieties that you might run into. Take a look at all the different ones. You can see the differences in color and the shape and the size of those. So let's talk a little bit about the recipe, uh, the recipe and the ingredients that I'll be using today. So to my right over here, or your left, today we're gonna be using that medium grain cow rose rice, one cup. We're gonna use three quarters cup of water, four ounces or a half a cup of uh, spicy tomato sauce, and uh, I'll talk a few about uh, a few other options if you're not into the spicy itself, but you still want flavor. We're going to use one teaspoon or two cloves of, uh, approximately of garlic, a quarter cup of chopped onions, olive oil, and chicken bouillon, which in this case is powdered. However, if you chose to use uh, liquid chicken uh, stock, you would swap it out equally for the amount of liquid that you're putting in. So if you're gonna use liquid chicken stock, you would then use a full cup and a quarter of liquid. In this case, I'm using the powder to add flavor plus the two additional liquids. So for some additional options, you might want to consider, and I will include this with the recipe, if you're not into the spicy, you can use standard regular tomato sauce in there, and then each individual can add their own spice level to their rice. We also have two different types of tomatoes. Uh, that if you'd like to add some tomato, a little bit more like a full, full bite from that vegetable, that's actually a fruit, but you know that. Uh, we, you can add uh, these diced tomatoes, drain the liquid out, and uh, you would add a specific amount that I will note in the recipe. Or you can use those tomatoes that have diced green chilies in them as well and add an additional layer of flavor to your recipe. For today's purpose, we're not gonna do any of these pieces. We're just gonna use the ingredients that I talked about. So at this time, we're gonna go ahead and move over to my stove top and we're gonna start cooking. First, let's get the oven lit. So on top, this is actually the stove. We're gonna turn the, uh, the heat up to about medium high. So in my case, there's seven levels. We're gonna go to about a five, five and a half in there. What we're gonna do first is brown the rice. Browning the rice will actually help it cook better. It'll open it up. It splits the rice and adds lots of additional layers of flavor in there. So first off, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of oil. This is olive oil. You can use um, other types of oils if you'd like. And as that oil heats up, you'll see it start to shimmer a little bit in there. Right now, it's just getting a little bit warm. I want it to get uh, uh, warmed up, and it's going to smoke just a little bit. So you're going to want to have a parent with you as you start cooking to help watch, just in case that fire gets a little too warm or the, the electric stove gets a little bit too warm, you'll want to turn it down. 
So what we're going to do first, uh, after adding in the oil, is I can smell it. It smells pretty good. That olive oil smells great. We're going to add in the rice and dump that in there. Again, that's one cup of rice. And we're going to stir it around a little bit to get the oils coated onto that rice so that this will help to brown it. And it's going to take a little bit. It's probably take about between three and five minutes to get this nice and brown in there. It, um, there are ways you can still cook this rice uh, and have it as Spanish rice without browning it, but I do recommend this step before you start moving on. You can start smelling it. It'll start crackling a little bit. You'll see it start turning brown in color. Uh, you're going to get lots of changes in there. There's probably going to be a little bit of smoke if you use extra virgin olive oil because that extra virgin olive oil doesn't have as high a, a burn temperature as many other types of oils that you could cook with. Now earlier, um, while this is browning, I talked a little bit about uh, using chicken powder uh, stock in this. And um, if you are going with a, a vegetarian or vegan option, you can omit this, or you can use vegetable powder, powdered vegetable stock, or just use salt and pepper. This is not a requirement for flavor. This is just what my family appreciates uh, when I cook this type of rice. So we're gonna use uh, this chicken stock, but not yet. If I can have that camera zoom in, you can hear closely, it's starting to sizzle. It may not pick up on the camera, that's my apologies, but you're gonna hear it starting to sizzle and that's what we're looking for. We're trying to get this rice to brown up a little bit. It's gonna change color from uh, a white rice to a little more translucent color in there as we start cooking and then finally it'll go to brown. So we're gonna let that just sit there. And then um, what we're gonna do next um, is once that rice has been browned, and it looks great to what, what I'm looking for. We're gonna crank that temperature up and we're gonna put in the liquids because we need to bring that to a boil uh, before we put our lid on and steam it the rest of the way. So we're gonna finish steaming this up. You can see there's actually some brown rice already in there and don't worry if, it, if there's little bits of ones that are over browned, not burnt, over browned. And so we're gonna get some of those in there and you can see closely, if I hold some of this up right here, you can see there's one kind of toasty right there. That's kind of what we're looking for. That's gonna add this extra layer of flavor into the rice today. So we stir it up as it's uh, starting to cook a little bit more. We wanna stir it a little bit so that it does not uh, completely burn. Extra brown's okay, but not burnt. So we're gonna get that in there. And um, in just a moment, I'm gonna crank that temperature up and we're gonna add the liquid. Now, for the purposes of today also, uh, this is a full can, so if, if you want to uh, double your recipe, you would end up using this. So right now, uh, we're gonna end up with two cups of cooked rice, because I used one cup of, of, of the rice itself. But uh, to double it, it's pretty easy. You literally just double the recipe, and then you can use a whole can and not have to just store this in your refrigerator. So right now, I think we're just about ready to start putting in the liquids here. You can see a little bit of the smoke coming off right there that's okay that's what we're looking for this is high heat we're trying to brown this rice up and add some extra flavor to it so let's go ahead I'm gonna crank up the temperature now on the stove we're gonna put in three quarters cup of water be careful because it does splatter we're gonna add in four ounces of the tomato sauce which is half of a can we're then gonna add in our garlic. Some people say you can add the garlic beforehand, which is just fine. You just have to be very careful because garlic does burn fairly easily. Uh, and, and toasting that will be a little bit more difficult for you. And then we're gonna add our onions in there as well. So once we have all of our onions and our ingredients in there, we're gonna bring this liquid to a boil. We're gonna stir it up a little bit, get everything mixed together in there. And finally, we're gonna add our chicken stock. This is the bouillon. Bouillon is considered the power powder. Uh, stock would be the liquid version of it. So this is, has salt already in it. The bouillon has salt in it, so you won't need to add too much more. I don't add salt usually at all into my uh, dishes until after we're done cooking. Baking's different. So you're seeing this, it's getting ready to come to a boil. There's some little bubbles going around the edges. This recipe will cook for 20 minutes once we put the lid on it. So um, 
And then when it's done cooking for 20 minutes, we're going to rest it for 20 minutes. But I want you to take a look closely in there. You're starting to see some little bubbles around the edges where the liquid is coming to a boil. We've got to get it to a boil first. Otherwise, uh, when it's finished cooking, if it didn't come to a boil, it'll actually be really hard and crunchy. It does not get to the center of that rice. So just as it's starting to get a good boil in there, the bubbles around the edges, I'm going to put the lid on there. And for one minute, let it go and then we're going to start our timer for 20 minutes 20 minutes and we're going to turn the temperature all the way to low so i'm going to put the temperature down to low right now it is now on low and we're going to start our timer in 20 minutes we're going to turn off the heat and let it rest for 20 minutes and then we'll come back and take a look at the final cooked version of this spanish rice Welcome back. It's been 40 minutes now since I originally started this. So it was 20 minutes on heat on low and it was 20 minutes off of the heat. So it just sat there, finished steaming. So now we're pretty much done with the rice. We're going to put it in this bowl, but let's take a look at what it looks like. So you can see it there, it's ready to go. What we're going to do is give this a little bit of a stir here. Not much, we don't want to break the rice. Stir it up a little bit. And then we're going to put it, and this is to fluff it up, we're going to put it into this bowl over here. Now, one of the better parts of Spanish rice is there are actually little crunchy bits on the bottom that have been caramelized. Those are the things you're looking for in here. You don't want a completely super moist, overcooked rice in here. You want a little bit of a bite to it with a little bit of those crunchies on the bottom. And if you listen to my, my spoon as I stir, can hear a few of those little crunchies coming off the bottom. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to put it into our bowl here. So it looks like it's coming out very nicely. See there's a few little crunchies on the bottom there. Very nice. You can hear that little stir taking off those bits off the bottom. Okay, everything's out of the pan. Give it a little bit of a stir here. And here we are with our finished rice product. You can see some of those little crunchy bits right in there. And that is the recipe. This is Spanish rice. There's a lot of things you can do with this, lots of additions and ways to cook it. I wanted to give you one of the most basic recipes that I could. And I have uh, an opportunity to share with you this recipe. We're going to put up uh, the actual ingredients list along with some options that you could think about and, and how to double that recipe if you have a larger family. Um, and this is going to be good when you get to try it. Have a great day. Thank you very much.